This is the crater left by the mine that blew the Germans off of Spanbrook Molen. It is 121 metres across and 29 metres deep. You have never seen a crater of this size in your life before. This is what 91,000 pounds of high explosive can do. Aluminium nitrate, aminal. The German trenches at one time were right across the centre of this great crater. The ground was quite raised up. When the explosion went off at 10 past 3 and 50 seconds, on the 7th of June 1917, there was a ginormous explosion. The Germans who were in the trenches here were simply liquidised, vaporised I should say, turned into atoms, nothing left of them. The earth went up into the air and went crashing down on the right hand side all the way around. So you're actually standing on the lip of the crater. Much of the earth that went down on the other side of the crater went into no man's land, killing the 94 Royal Irish Rifle Soldiers. The British captured here and captured the second line, but they didn't get through the third line. It was a great British advance. But in those few seconds that it took to blow the Germans from Hill 60 to 122 in the south, like that, 10,000 Germans were blown to pieces. The place is very peaceful, isn't it? This is now called the Pool of Peace. I found the Pool of Peace quite amazing because, like, this, there's just this perfect, peaceful little little pool and a crater and it just it looks so beautiful and peaceful it doesn't look like anything could ever have bad happened there but that pool wouldn't be there if that mine hadn't blown up and all those soldiers lives lost. It was really sort of breathtaking and like a once in a lifetime kind of thing to see because it was just so like unexpected to see something so peaceful made from something that's just been made to destroy things and people.